Tonight, some Twitter users facing a flood of replies pushing guns unsolicited. And there are members of the black community who say they are being targeted. Twitter's bot problem is not new. Inexpensive bot armies. Twitter has now taken down hundreds of bots. Bots went to work. But now there are some profiles, presumably bots, based on the repetitive nature of their posts, replying to users with a sales pitch for cheap guns and a telegram link to purchase the firearms. The story first reported by Rolling Stone. Take a look at these two profiles, both created in February with the display name Straps, slang for guns, following fewer than 10 accounts. Their feeds filled with replies like these. And it seems like there's a pattern in the tweets they reply to. The majority include the N-word in the tweet or the username. Both advertise the same Telegram link in their bio connecting people to an alleged gun dealer. And there are other similar profiles making the same pitch. NBC News couldn't verify if the bots were in fact selling guns or if any of these are just spam messages. But still, experts like Professor Sanjay Goel of Albany State University say they can be a problem. These spam bots or chat bots, they, be, they are blanketing the entire internet with their requests. So it's very easy for them to reach a large section of the population. And Twitter users are getting sick of it. The apparent targeting of the colloquial use of the N-word, raising questions about whether these accounts are zeroing in on the black population. One user saying Twitter is overrun by, quote, overtly racist bots trying to sell guns. Are they racially profiling people to do that or are they just trying to sell guns? I don't know what their motive behind is. Another word that seems to trigger a reply, the F word. Before buying Twitter, Elon Musk saying he'd, quote, defeat the spam bots or die trying. Yeah, there's just no way to know the number of bots. Now, almost five months into his tenure at the helm of the company, the problem persists. It's just it's like a whack of you know, you... You kill one and another one pops up somewhere else, so it's kind of hard to stop. You need to go to the root of this. We reached out to Twitter for comment on how they're handling such bots but haven't heard back. The ATF responding, while they may monitor suspicious activities involving firearms, they were unable to comment. For now, simply reporting the bots to Twitter is the best recourse, but it's something users might need to get used to. The technology is there. It's only going to get better. The bots are going to get more and more and more realistic. And Gotti joins us now from Los Angeles. So Gotti, the expert in your piece mentioned the whack-a-mole nature of this problem. Is anything being done to stop these bots? Well, Ellison, as we mentioned, Twitter didn't respond to our request for comments, so we don't really know, but it's definitely not an easy task. For example, two of those profiles that we showed you in the story, uh, one of them is up right here. I can't show you exactly what's on screen because a lot of it is inappropriate, but they're still posting. Uh, they were trying to sell guns as early as yesterday, uh, and they have been spitting out dozens of these replies for quite some time. Others we found, those have been suspended, so clearly all of this is a work in progress. Ellison? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.